So Grayscale is an ensemble company made out of direct directors, writers, actors and designers. And it was set up in 2009 by Lorne Campbell and myself. Um, and we work in a collaborative, a commission process. Did Mark drive you there? No. He didn't. How come? He just didn't, all right? What's wrong? Nothing. I don't know. That doesn't sound like Mark. To let you do things all on your own. Take care of your family like that. Mum. I'm just saying. Well, I don't need him to tidy up. It's not about needing. It's about having someone around. Mark and I split up. No. Well, yes. But you're crap on your own. <laughs> Gods Have Fallen and All Safety Gone is a play about a lifetime of conversation between two people who happen to be mother and daughter, and it's kind of condensed into about 55 minutes, into an hour. Um, it was commissioned by a theatre about 10 years ago, and I wrote it for someone else. I never thought I would direct it. So it was written as a very naturalistic piece. And then a couple of years later, I saw a Russian production of it, which was absolutely amazing and didn't do it in a nowhere near naturalistic way. And inspired by that in a way, I thought there, there, is, there, is, an in, there is more interesting way for me to approach this as a director than I did as a writer. Have you had your bath? Yeah. Was there enough hot water? Yeah, there was plenty. Did you piss? No. <laughs> it's, it's a, a cunt to clean. Uh, I know. We were on tour with one of our previous projects, which was Theatre Brothel, um, and I kept looking at two performers, Sean Campion and Scott Turnbull, who were in it, and how their relationship developed over three months we were on tour. Um, and there was something about their relationship that fitted really well the relationship of these two characters. Of course, they were the wrong gender, they were men. This is a play about two women. But at that time, for us, it felt like they were two, two best performers, two best people, actors, for the show. So I asked them to do it. And then in order to not exclude a feminine presence, what we do is we always ask a mother and daughter from the community where we're touring to join them on stage as, as kind of just an element that is there near them. They don't have to perform, they're not directed, but they just, they are on stage with them. Come here, what is it? Toothpaste, there, thank you. That's better. Where's that gone? How would I know you think he tells me anything? Well, he just disappeared. That's your dad for you. Well, I wanted to talk to him. Maybe next time, always next time. What did they say about the weather? on the radio. I'm originally from Croatia. I started as a dancer and a performer and then trained at drama school as a playwright, dramaturg in Croatia. I moved to Scotland about 15 years ago now. And then since I've been working in new writing theatre first, worked a lot with the Traverse. Um, and then five years ago, decided that the model I wanted to work in, the model Lauren, my then co-artistic director and I wanted to work in, didn't exist at the time, so we set up Grayscale in order to allow us and our collaborators to work the way we want to work. I have a few questions I'd like to ask, if that's all right. Sure. How's Mark? Is he all right? Mark's gone all the artists, so actors, writers, director and designer, are all commissioned at the same time at the beginning of the process. But we don't devise. Everyone is still very much an author of their part of the job. So there's a single voice writing a play, single voice directing, but we all have the same amount of time to develop our own part of the project. So it kind of develops parallel rather than consecutively. Did you know? Yeah. <clears throat> You still love me? I do. Very much. I'm sorry. The way audiences see it is completely different every time, and it's wonderful for us. There's, there seems to be this gap which we created by accident, where they tell us after the show what the show was about, and it's completely different every time, and it's wonderful. I have no idea what the show is about. Literally, there's not, not a narrow one meaning to it. Um, so it's really exciting for us figuring out what different audiences, what it is to them and for them, and 
and how they experience it.